Operation Roundhammer will hit the beach at Celestial Body 2064K. This is a moon of the Chig's home planet. I saw something. Enemy? It kind of had eyes, like us. If this is some innocent life whose home is about to be turned into a devastated battlefield, do we try to warn it? Go! 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 It's a single enemy craft, sir. Yes, Commander. The rough code suggests the enemy is prepared to present a peace proposal. We interrupt this program for a special bulletin. And now from the Secretariat Building, Secretary General Diane Hayden. Good evening, United Peoples of Earth. Eighteen months and four days ago, the fierce winter storm of war seemed as distant in our history as the last snowfall to a child retreating in the shade from the heat of the summer sun. Until together, we trembled in the chill as Secretary General Chartwell sat at this desk and placed the Vesta Tellus colony massacres amongst days that will live in infamy. The United Earth, incapable of dreaming another war, found herself unable to awaken from its awful nightmare. This evening, however, she sleeps once again beneath the stars of peace. Today, which in the perplexities of space travel will occur here two weeks from now, an alien envoy landed aboard the USS space carrier Saratoga with a proposal for a cease fire. We believe this proposal to be genuine, the envoy to be legitimate. And I am relieved to announce that peace negotiations will commence immediately. Wherever you stand on our Earth, whether in the warm light of our sun or the pale light of the moon, however you talk to God, whether formally or by internal whisper, ask that Earth's prayers for universal peace be answered in the next hopeful hours. Damn her. I said not to jump the gun. We now return to our regular work. How can we not negotiate with that thing we have down in the hold now that she's just told the entire world peace is at hand? I told her we had not confirmed whether it represented all the enemy, some of the enemy, or just itself. Or if this were just a deception. If it were only human. I could look it in the eye, I could get some kind of a feeling, a hunch, anything. that told me if this was a truth or a lie. Colonel? I understand what you're saying, sir. Even with an AI, I get a sense of the enemy. But as I look at that thing, all I get is an odd feeling that this is either a beginning or an end. We thought we were alone. We believed the universe was ours until one night in 2063, on an Earth colony 16 light years away, they struck. And now we are at war. My name is Lieutenant Colonel T.C. McQueen. I'm an in vitro, a race of artificially gestated humans. I command a Marine Corps squadron, the 58th. They call us the Wild Cards. We fight when called, in space, on land, and at sea. To lose this war means more than defeat. To surrender is to never go home. All of us must rise to the call, above and beyond. Imagine if it's over. No more 60 pound rebreather packs till four in the morning. No more mud, blood, AIs or chiggies. No more wild cards. They won't keep a squadron of officers together during peacetime. It was only the personnel shortage that kept us together like this. It was much more that held us together. 
think we would have been friends if we had met under different circumstances. Would we all hang out together? Will we be friends when the war is over? Definitely. My dad had said that he was never closer to anybody than a group of guys that he went through boot with. And then eight weeks later, they got their orders, went their separate ways, and he never heard from any of them again. One of them came to his funeral. We can request to stay together. I'm sure they'd make an exception because of our war record. I'd do it. In a second. If this crap's really over and the peace holds, my sentence would be up. I'd be free to go home. I'd do that in a second, too. Bless you, sir. Commodore, LIDAR detects a battle group of enemy ships, 250 KMSKs from our position. They're probably just keeping an eye on the peace talks. If that chick in the hole isn't a sanctioned envoy, that enemy battle group out there may not know a damn thing about any peace talks. Let's see if they know about each other. Per your request, Admiral, the alien envoy alleges this transmission will alter the enemy battle group a hundred clicks laterally as a display of the envoy's validity. The fleet stands in full readiness, sir. Go ahead, Colonel. Yes, sir. Cabbage they serve in the mess. I won't miss Hawk's aggressive flatulence. It's clear on your six. That cabbage was good, wasn't it, Hawks? <laughs> it's an in vitro thing. I wanted to bring you up to date. Looks like the envoy is legit. Each side will now present each other with a list of criteria to be met before negotiations can begin including a list of TELUS and Vesta Colony prisoners. It looks good. Sir, you saw it. What does the chick look like? Admiral Stenner doesn't want to talk about, so I won't. Colonel, what'll you do if the war's over? Well, I'll find a quiet place, alone, and ask forgiveness for the lives I've taken. Then I'll pull out the accordion, get naked, and polka around the flight deck. Pray for war. Did you know Coop's sentence is up? I can go home. To what? I miss you guys, but I'm glad it's over. Except for Nathan. Even if the war ends, it's not over. This is the enemy envoy's response to our list of demands. It wants the chief executive officer of Aerotech, E. Allen Wayne, to attend the peace talks. Get on it. To meet our first demand, here is a list of colonials held in enemy captivity. They've agreed that the moment peace talks commence, they will be transferred to an ISS APC and returned to the Saratoga. Gentlemen, our enemy is cooperating. 
Maybe this thing is for real. Wes, here it is. I published a list of surviving colonial hostages. Way to go, West. All right. Colonel, is this really gonna happen? As soon as the Alan Wayne arrives, talks begin, the prisoners are gonna... No, I don't, I don't mean those details. The chig down in the hold, you've seen it. What's your feeling? Is this a lie? So far, its intentions are honorable. But I don't know, West. There's something about it. Sir, I need to know. I get a lot from a person looking into their eyes. Hell, even an animal. I can look in a dog's eyes and know if it's gonna bite me. But this chig, His eyes are so black. Empty. Yet brilliant. Sir, what did the rest of it look like? We won't say nothing. Almost a human shaped head, whitish pink skin, gills. Does it have a protruding lower jaw? Who told you? Colonel, I need to see it. We told it. Told it what? On Anvil. We believed it to be the last of a species that would be destroyed by Operation Roundhammer, and we told it. The enemy knows our battle plans. Saratoga. Boys, can we escort you to your quarters? Sure. Sure. Right here. A Roosevelt dime, minute in 2015, the year they stopped making them and the year Aerotech was incorporated. Treat yourselves. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mr. Wayne, mm -hmm. can you give us Aerotech's posture in the peace talks? Well, posture uh, is an angry one. The brave peace-loving heroes of Vesta and Tellus were more than just colonists, they were family. Their unprovoked massacre will not be quickly forgotten. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. Imagine if on the morning of June 6th, 1944, we give the Nazis a call advising them that the Allies would be landing on Omaha Beach. You people are supposed to be the best there is. What the hell were you thinking? Sir. We believed an encounter with an unknown extraterrestrial form to be the sole remaining... I don't care what you thought. There's no excuse for what you've done. Admiral, this is undoubtedly a colossal MCS. However, it does flush out a motive for the enemy's sudden peace initiative. It indicates they know we kicked their ass if we landed. We should strike now and put them away. Or it's a stall while they double back troops to Anvil. It's either one or the other. Either scenario, we go in now. Achieve peace our way. Sir, to atone, may I volunteer the 58th to monitor enemy troop movement? You people don't know the enemy when you see it. 
No, request denied. You are out of this war. Admiral, this squadron is the finest... Pending further disciplinary action. Now get out of my sight. What have we got here? The mice are a hunchback option, I see. <laughs> Very civilized. <laughs> Cheeks one with me. This is a strange one, sir. Unlike any of the others. Just sits there. Doesn't want to give anything away. These peace talks? They legitimate? No. They already have all the advantages. They're up to something. Do they know anything more than they already know? Well, frankly, Mr. Wayne, they already know all they need to know. They use it. You know they will. Well, you're paid to tell me what I don't know. So get out of my face. You're fired. Looks like we might be joining you civilians, Coop. After all we've been through to be drummed out of peacetime. Ten hut! As you were. <clears throat> Colonel, the lab coats tell me because of this cold, my attendance at the peace talks could potentially endanger the enemy. My request of Admiral Stenner, who remains furious, is that you attend as representative of the Saratoga. He acquiesced, pending your physical and uh, green light from the docks. I'd be proud, sir. My whole life, I have dreamed of being a part of such an historic occasion. And now to be sidelined because of a damn cold. Get some rest, sir. Our intent is peace through understanding. Gentlemen, Ambassador, it has been predetermined that at this time, the surviving Telus and Vesta colonists, who've all been transferred safely to an ISS APC and are holding on Celestial Body 2064R, would be granted permission to return to the Saratoga. Agreed. Conference room to command center. Transmit the code provided by the ambassador. Roger that. ISS APC homeward bound confirms takeoff. The colonists are on their way. Thank you, ambassador. Let us, as we say, ambassador, take your lead toward an understanding. Every person on Earth would like to hear why hundreds of, frankly, innocent lives were taken by the attack on the Vesta and Telus colonies. Ask Mr. Wayne. He knew we were there. The only thing I know now, what I knew before, is the Chig's capacity for lies. Our moon, where you were to invade with Round Hammer, is sacred. Where our life began, it is still where we go to be born. An Aerotech unmanned probe landed on this moon, correct? I think contact with that probe was lost hours after we it was launched. We destroyed it after transmitting a warning to stay away. There was an unintelligible blast of radio static. You knew. All right, you claim to have sent a signal, one we can't decipher. Even if this lie is true, we settled two billion miles away. How can you lay so claim to the universe? How can you claim the Earth? It's our home. We originated there. So did we. A hundred thousand years ago, like you do now, we searched 
for our origins. Unfamiliar minerals were discovered on our sacred moon. It was determined to be cosmic debris from a planet impacted by a comet. This was before there was life. We searched for centuries, found the closest planet with the exact mineral composition to be Earth. We can prove early amino acids on Earth were a part of debris which landed on our moon and our life began evolved differently faster. We are from the same place. Let me remind everybody that this is totally hypothetical. It's unsubstantiated. It goes against all the scientific evidence that we at Aerotech have, that we humans have gathered. We are you. You are murderous. You are bloodthirsty. You we are barbarous, you treacherous. You, you should be destroyed. Every last monstrous shake. did this happen? Who is responsible? We're investigating that, sir. Answer my question. How did it get a bomb in there? Who is responsible? Who is responsible? Saratoga to homeward bound. There has been an executive action on board. Advise. On red alert. Repeat, red alert. Enemy may engage in retaliatory strike on hostages. Speak of the devil. We got a mess of bogeys closing. 50 MSKs. 12 o'clock high. Position mid-range between the Saratoga and the enemy's position. Place the 5-9 Red Reserve Squadron on alert. Inform Captain Ping I want his people ready to fly in 10 mics. Negative. Belay that last. I want the 5-8 on this rescue. Sir Admiral Stenner had confined them to... Shovel up the wild cards and deal them.
H2 tank pressurization, okay. Master arm switch. Safe. 5-8, you are clear for departure. Let's go get it. Confirmed enemy squadron 750, KMSK is out from position of homeward bound and closing hard. Roger that, Saratoga. Walkers, this is the 59 coming up on your 12 to the N9. If we could get to the cockpit, I could reboot the auxiliary tower. But I can't open the hatch without an external battery. Sit and wait. It's here, in the sky. Proceeding with transfer and will return to home base. See you there. This one's mine. Once, twice, die, shoot. Better luck next time. Reserved wild cards. We're in a real hairy one. Kanga and Ruor down. Enemy is superior. Required. Let's get our people out of there. We got Chink Fighters 500 MSK to closing fast. We're not home yet. It's gonna be raining chicks in five months. Let's scramble. Don't worry, I'm right behind you. Wayne, let's go. Hoorah! Jumped her back. We can fly this bird home. Wing, west, transfer. We gotta scramble. West, this doubles her weapons. She'll have a better chance of making it home. We all will.
You fly, I fight. Captain, we're flying the APC back. We're on your three. Roger that. Hawks, stations, boost, shotgun. Okay, strap yourselves in. This flight's gonna suck and we don't serve peanuts. Saratoga, this is King of Hearts. We are 425, KMSK's out. Closing on planet 2063 Yankee. Bandits on our six and closing. vehicle full of civilians. We cannot engage in ACM. That'll give him something to talk about. Gravity got us. We're going down. West of Vanson. Hold on, we're coming after you. Secure the colonists. Use the personal rescue enclosures. Negative. Damn Foose is out, I'm not leaving her. We'll fire a deorbiter burn and hope the chutes make touchdown survivable. We'll intercept. Nathan, take her home. Roger that. Semper Fi. My friend. Cargo 
auxiliary power. It won't open. to be going home. Shower and a meal, and I'm gone. You've got to get back to Earth. The war here is going to get pretty hairy. All colonists, please board. All flight crews disperse from the loading bay. Even all of you. Stand by for shuttle departure. Stand by for shuttle departure.
Man, I thought you were Wang. What are you doing? Nah, nah, she felt her whole life. I lost my mother and father on the same day. Always faithful, my friend. Watch your hands, watch your hands.